Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. when you're ready guys you can open your eyes and come back to the room okay and next we'll do our stretching sequence so let's stand up and push in our chairs and we'll begin by stretching up high high to the sky and then let's go down low touch your toes we'll go back up high again and this time can we go tippy toe high and while we're there let's have a wave and then back down touch our toes let's stand up straight and we'll walk on the spot stop turn left turn left again left again and left again. Hello. Everybody back to the front. So now, let's go right. Right again. Right again. And then right. And we should be back where we started. So let's chill on the spot. Slowly. And quickly. Slowly. And stop. And to finish, we will do three star jumps. One, two, three. Excellent, guys. Well done. So, who can tell me what have we been learning about in science class recently? Electricity. Excellent. First, we began looking at energy, energy sources and what produces energy and then when we have that energy we turn it into electricity, electricity. how do we spell electricity e l e c t r i c i t y electricity yes where is electricity Electricity is everywhere. Who can tell me in our classroom now, who can give me some examples of electricity? Excellent. First one, light. L. 
I G H T. We have light. Without light, we would be in the dark. Back down. Television. Television. Very good. How do we spell television? T-E-L-E-V-I-S-I-O-N Or for short, we can say TV, television. Nadia. Microwave. Microwave is a good one. Sometimes if we have food and we want to make it hotter, we use the microwave. A microwave uses electricity. Microwave. M I C R O. Wave. W A V E. Down. Telephone. Yes. Nowadays, everybody has telephones. We have mobile telephones, but we can still call them telephones. P H O N E S. Bang pong. Computer. Computer. Excellent. We need a computer all the time nowadays. So how do we spell computer? C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R Pro Printer Printer If we have a computer and we want to make some paper we need a printer So let's write this one here P-R-I-N-T-E-R E R. Okay, let's have some from this side. Pack boom. Camera. Camera. Yes. Now, this lesson is being recorded. We are using a camera. Camera. C A M E R A. Let's see if we can get two more. Pro. A teapot. Hmm. Teapot is what we put the water into after it's been boiled. We boil the water with a k k kettle. Kettle. Yes. K e t t l e. Any more, guys? Black out and down. Air conditioner. Yes. How do we spell A? A I R. And ready, guys? Conditioner. C O N D I T I O N E R. And fan. Fan, exactly. Air conditioner. If we don't have air conditioner, we will use fan. How do we spell fan? F A N. Excellent, guys. Lots of examples, which is really good. So let's go through them all together. First, we have light, light. Kettle. kettle, television, television. telephones, <laughs> microwave, computer, printer. Camera, fan, air conditioner. Excellent, some great examples there, well done. So you can see from all of the examples that we have provided just in one room alone, is electricity important? Yes. Yes, electricity is very important. Can you imagine? Nowadays, in our life, if there was no electricity, that would mean no television, no telephones, no computer, no light, no transport, cars, trains, things like this. We wouldn't have any. It would be so different. So now we're going to take a look at a PowerPoint presentation about the importance 
of electricity. So let's turn our chair to have a look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about the importance, the importance of, electricity. of electricity. Electricity, electricity is, very is very important in modern life. Most of, Most of our, appliances our appliances work only, work only with, electricity. with electricity. Without electricity, Without electricity life, would be life would be so much more, so much more difficult, difficult and slower. Very well done, guys. Like we did on our board exercise then, all of the appliances use electricity. Take away electricity, you take away all of them things. So let's have a look at some more. Transport. Transport. Who can think of types of transport that trains excellent? Cars. Motorbikes, excellent, yes. You can see from the pictures here. <coughs> car. car. Does a car use electricity? Yeah. Yes. Train. train. Does a train use electricity? Yeah. Yes. No electricity, no cars, no trains. And if we want to go on the water, what do we go on water with? Yeah ship if we don't have electricity can we have ships no. no we can't have ships we could have smaller boats like wooden boats you can still have but the big ocean liners like this no electricity no ships and what's this airplane, airplane. does an airplane use electricity yeah. yes if there's no electricity, no airplane. Communication. communication. Who can think of an example of communication? Telephone. Telephone. Excellent. Computer. Computer. TV. TV, yes. Anything we use to communicate uses electricity. Television. Television. Radio. Radio. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Or cell phone. cell phone. Same thing. Mobile phone, cell phone is the same. <coughs> and what's this? Computer. Computer. All of them use electricity. Health. How is electricity important to our health? <coughs> exactly. Hospitals. You go to a hospital and you see all of the machines. What do all of them use? Light, Light and electricity. You see? Look at this room here. This is a hospital ward. If people are sick, they stay here. And you see all of the machines? What do they all use? They use electricity. And if we're not well, what do we need to take? Medicine. How do they make the medicine? They use machines. And the machines use electricity. Perfect. So you can see, no electricity, no hospitals, no medicine. Heating and cooling. How do we stay cool? Air conditioner or what do they use? Electricity. 
But if we want to cook food, we use a cooker. If we want to boil water, we use kettle. And for staying cool, if we want to stay cool, we use air conditioner. But at home, if we have food and we want to keep the food cool, where do we put it? We put it in the fridge or the full name, refrigerator. Excellent. So, let's go through the vocabulary one more time. Ready? Transport. Transport. Car. Car. Train. Train. Ship. Ship. Airplane. Airplane. Communication. Communication. Television. 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 Radio. Radio. Mobile phone. Computer. Computer. Health. Health. Hospital. Hospital. Medicine. Medicine. Heating and cooling. Heating and cooling. Cooker. Cooker. Kettle. Kettle. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Refrigerator. Can you think of other examples of electricity in use? Any more ideas, guys? I think we've covered lots of things so far. Maybe other things. Lakau, any ideas? How about a clock? Sometimes clocks use electricity. Or, <coughs> any more? Any questions? No. no. Okay, excellent guys, well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation about the importance of electricity and how electricity allows the various functions in our life to take control such as transport, transport health, health communication, communication heating, and cooling. heating and cooling and now we're going to play a game we're going to have a look at uses of electricity okay so teachers what you'll need to do is print off the flashcards that we will use for this lesson and you need to put on the board two categories what do we say for something that will use electricity we say ready guys uses u s e s uses electricity e l e c t r i c I T Y. Okay, so there's our first half of the board. Uses electricity. But what about if it does not use electricity? We will have a column for that too. D O E S does not N O T. U.S.C. does not use electricity. E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C-I-T-Y. For example, computer uses electricity. How about this chair? does not use electricity okay so now guys it's time to close our eyes i will take the flashcards that are already cut into individual pictures and we will place them on a student's desk they must come forward and decide 
which column to put the flashcards in. Let's open our eyes, guys. Nadia, you can go first. So what do we have? Can you show your friends your flashcards? What is this? Books. A book. So what do we think? A book. So can you place here? And Nadia, can you say a book? does not use electricity. That's correct. High five. Round of applause. <laughs> Next one. Let's see. Okay, open our eyes please guys. Who has the flashcards? Nick, come and join me at the front. Can you show your friends your flashcards? What is this? Computer. A computer. So what do we think? Use Uses electricity. So excellent net. And can we say together, a computer, a computer uses, uses electricity. electricity. Can you say a computer, computer. Uses, uses electricity? Excellent, Ned. Well done. Round of applause. <laughs> next student, let's see who's next. Okay, who's next? Who do we have with the flashcards? Let's see. Prel, come and join me. Can you show your students, your, your students, your friends, your flashcards? What's this? What are they? Headphones. What do we think? Well, where would you put your flashcards? Okay, excellent. So these are headphones. And we will say headphones uses electricity. Is that right? Yes. Headphones, Headphones uses, uses electricity. electricity. High five. Round of applause for Claire. <laughs> okay, who's next? Let's see. Bang bon. Bring your flashcard forward. Let's see what we have. Can you show your friends? Football. Football, Football uses electricity? No. 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 So, no. So, <laughs> excellent. So we can say football, football does not, does not use Electricity. Electricity. Excellent. High five. Round of applause for Pankon. <laughs> Open your eyes, please, guys. Lakau. What do we have? Can you show your friends what do we have? A light. A light. Or sometimes we can say lamp. Lamp. Does not use electricity, does it? No. Really? Yes, it does. A light uses electricity. So where would you put it? Excellent. So light or lamp uses electricity. Excellent. Well done. Round of applause for Alaska. <laughs> Open your eyes please guys. Chew, come and join me at the front. 
Let's see what we have. What's this? Hat. Does a hat use electricity? No. So what do we say? Perfect. Excellent, Hugh. So can we say hat, hat does, does not use, not use electricity. electricity? High five. Round of applause for us, too. Okay, who's next? Who has the flashcards? <coughs> Dan, what is your flashcard? Car. Car. What do we think? What's our answer? Uses electricity? Yes. You think? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> so what do we say? We say the name of the thing. Car. Uses, uses electricity. electricity. High five. A round of applause for down. <laughs> Only a few left now, so let's see. Okay, who has our flashcard? Pak boom. <laughs> What's this? Pencil. Pencil. Pencil uses electricity. Yeah. No. So where will we put our pencil? Here. And we will say, Pencil does not use electricity. High five. Round of applause. Let's see. We have two left. Open your eyes, guys. Pat, go and join me. Let's see. What do we have here? What is this? Cell phone. Cell phone or mobile phone. What do we think, Pat? Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes, that's right. So we can say cell phone uses electricity. Is that right, Pat? High five. Round of applause for Pat. Now let's see, I have one more. Okay. Pat Boom, you can come again. Bang Pong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what do we have now? Glass. Glass. Glass uses electricity? No. no. Use electricity. Perfect. So we can say glass, glass. Does, does not use electricity. High five. Round of applause. That was great guys, so once again our two phrases uses electricity, mobile phone or cell phone, computer, car, headphones, lamp or light and then does not use electricity, pencil. <coughs> Book, soccer ball or football, hat, glass. Excellent guys, well done. And now it's time for our worksheet activity. So teachers, you'll need to print off one worksheet for each of your students. And as you can see, the task here is for your students to write 10 things that use electricity. And you can see, 
they have five here already so get them to write the names of ten things that use electricity and think back to the PowerPoint presentation or the board exercise earlier but what's the first thing we must do guys and give our students around 15 minutes for this activity and if they need any help with spelling or vocabulary help them that's what you're there for okay down you. you're welcome thank you you're welcome bang bon. thank you you're welcome thank you you're welcome thank you you're welcome pak boom and net you're welcome okay so think guys 10 things that use electricity if you need any help with spellings let me know microwave okay m I will write M I M I M I C R O W A V E Microwave Car How do we spell car? C A C A Oh. TV. 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 <laughs> C A R. Oh. Car. For car. Sorry. Car. Mobile M. Computer. Okay. Let's go with computer. I write computer on the list. So what's this? C O. M P U T E Ah, computer Mobile phone Okay, so how do we spell mobile? M O B I L E Mobile phone P H O N E Mobile phone Lamp Lamp L L A M P Lamp Headphones How do we spell head? H E A H E A a C. How do we spell phone? And then for headphones we had an S because there's two headphones. Fan. How do we spell fan? F A N. Okay, how do we spell A? A I O. A I R. Conditioner. C O N. D I T. I O N. E R. Air conditioner. Any other ideas, guys? So, so far, very good, Nadia. We have seven already. What were the things? Okay, think back to transport. We had car. Train. Train. How do we spell train? T R A I N. Excellent, okay. Brown. Train. Airplane. Excellent. How do we spell airplane? A I E R O P L A N. So you can see all of these things use electricity. Perfect. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity and our students enjoyed it here in class. What we had to do is they would give the ideas of things that use electricity and then we can help them by writing the spellings on the board and getting our students to spell the words too. 
So it's a good exercise for spelling and writing. And we all did a good job. So well done, guys. <laughs> and that's the end of today's lesson. We hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting too. And we'll see you again soon for the next one. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you next time.